The majority of the time, developers don't have to think about encryption, it just works. Despite its invisibility, encryption is an essential component of our modern infrastructure. It safeguards our privacy by letting information to be kept private even as it travels across the internet. However, researchers are racing against the clock to develop new encryption techniques because quantum computers, with their unique ways of doing computations, can break existing ones. And they're on their way sooner than we anticipate. This brings me to today's sponsor, Skillshare, which couldn't be more of a perfect partnership due to its beginner-friendly artificial intelligence classes. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for aspiring developers and creatives. Explore new skills and deepen existing passions. AI models such as OpenAI's Glide can be used by anyone with a little experience in machine learning which is one of the many topics on Skillshare along with web development, search engine optimization, entrepreneurship and more. My personal favorite class and the one I recommend for making use of this video's topic is the Artificial Intelligence for Beginners, Tools to Learn Machine Learning, class by Alvin Wan which tells you everything you need to know about creating and then optimizing your models by understanding the importance of model complexity. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Skillshare's entire catalog of classes now offers subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese and German. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Whether you're a dabbler or a pro, a hobbyist or a master, you're creative. Discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you the very real dangers quantum computers pose to every facet of our society. Quantum computing is a type of processing that uses a computer device that is based on the bizarre, counter-intuitive physical characteristics of matter at extremely tiny scales, known as quantum mechanics. Unlike a traditional computer, which utilizes transistors to encode data in binary digits that can only be a 1 or a 0, think, on, or, off, a quantum computer employs, qubits, which can encode more than two states. Each qubit can technically hold a superposition of many states, but the mathematics is far too complex for the purposes of this movie. It should be noted that quantum computing is not the same as quantum cryptography, which is the study of using quantum mechanical features to perform cryptographic tasks. A famous example of this is quantum key distribution, which allows a secret cryptographic key to be transferred between two distant parties while reliably detecting any eavesdropping. While less sophisticated than quantum computing, this technology is still in its infancy, with many existing practical implementations failing to live up to their theoretical promise. Yes, rudimentary, small-scale quantum computers have been created and shown effectively. These are currently laboratory devices that are huge, costly, and difficult to operate, with extremely limited capabilities. They do, however, demonstrate that the basic physical concepts are correct. The objective is to develop one that is large enough, in terms of qubit capacity, to outperform traditional computers at meaningful activities. Many universities, firms, and government organizations across the world are racing to achieve this, employing a range of different experimental methodologies. Some techniques may prove to be more practical than others, or have unique qualities that are advantageous for specific types of application. Because of the unique features of qubits, it is feasible to construct algorithms that run substantially quicker on a quantum computer than on a conventional computer. These algorithms might be employed for a variety of scientific and business applications, and they will provide several benefits. Some of these algorithms have already been tried and confirmed on prototype quantum computers, but they will not be practical or cost-effective until bigger quantum computers are developed. Many critical components of IT security rely on encryption and public key cryptography, which are required for e-commerce and the protection of sensitive electronic data. These strategies, in turn, are based on mathematical formulas that are extremely difficult to crack. Modern algorithms with appropriate key lengths, e.g., AES-128, RSA-2048, 
ECDSA-256, etc., are not vulnerable to brute force attack. Even with vast amounts of computer power, it would take years or, in some cases, longer than the universe's lifetime to break them. However, it is feasible to develop unique algorithms for quantum computers, for example, Shor's algorithm, that significantly reduce the time required to break these techniques. Symmetric encryption schemes, such as AES, are still regarded to be safe, with adequate key length, for example, AES-256 or bigger, but, existing asymmetric algorithms, such as RSA and ECDSA, will be rendered basically worthless once quantum computers reach a certain scale. This will disrupt practically every practical use of encryption now in use, rendering e-commerce and many other digital applications on which we rely in our everyday lives completely unsecure. Working at the boundaries of physics is difficult. While most of the theory is well understood, putting theory into practice at such small scales is a tremendous scientific and technical challenge that is testing many of the world's greatest experts. There are various basic issues that must be resolved before large-scale quantum computers may be built. Qubits, in particular, are particularly vulnerable to virtually undetectable levels of thermal and electromagnetic interference, which is difficult to eradicate, the decoherence problem. A further challenge will be making quantum computers affordable to anyone outside of academia and government. Fortunately, several academic and government mathematicians are working on a variety of prospective, quantum-resistant, algorithms that cannot be cracked by quantum computers. However, it takes time to be confident that these algorithms do not have other flaws. Normally, it takes several years to be confident in the safety of any new algorithm. The performance of quantum-resistant algorithms will also have to be addressed. New standards must be written and adopted, many of which are national or industry-specific. Applications must be adapted to use the new algorithms, which can be a real challenge in some industries, such as banking, where there is a massive amount of legacy infrastructure that cannot be easily upgraded, if at all. Algorithms like as day MD5, SHA-1, and RSA-512 are still used in certain places, but are thought to be breakable with classical computing now or in the near future due to the amount of inertia in big commercial systems where interoperability is critical. So, given the above and the most optimistic projections about the availability of huge quantum computers, there isn't much time to waste in starting to tackle these challenges. You shouldn't be too concerned. It's a worldwide issue, and many people are working on it. That doesn't mean you should disregard it. Keep a watch on the growth of quantum computing, the development of quantum-resistant algorithms, and the development of new standards. Verify that your apps and infrastructure are upgradable, formulate a strategy, and be prepared to move at the appropriate moment. Note that the most recent elliptic curve technology gives no benefit, in fact, it's even less secure in the face of quantum computing, so there's no practical need to switch from RSA to ECDSA unless you require the performance benefits it provides. However, much encrypted information available today or in the coming years will almost certainly be susceptible to decryption one day in the future once quantum computers become widely available, all an attacker needs to do is capture the encrypted data today, including the initial key exchange handshake, and then wait until they have a quantum computer powerful enough to break it within a reasonable amount of computing time. This is particularly a concern for governments, who have vast volumes of secret material with a lengthy intelligence life, meaning it must be kept secret for at least 25 years for national security reasons. This is why governments are leading the research effort to create quantum computers for offensive cyber operations as well as quantum-resistant algorithms for defensive reasons. As there is a huge military advantage to be gained, they may even have clandestine research operations that are ahead of the academic community. They should also aim to transition to quantum-resistant algorithms as soon as possible. However, given the immaturity of such algorithms, it might be prudent to utilize hybrid methods at first, which combine proven, established algorithms with unproven, quantum-resistant algorithms, such that an attacker has to break both to be successful. For the most paranoid, safety can be attained by completely avoiding public key encryption and relying solely on symmetric cryptography. However, this poses a new and perhaps more difficult security challenge, the secure exchange of secret key material. Maybe quantum key distribution will solve the problem. In the end, the threat of quantum computing boils down to an economic issue. 
Viable quantum computers will be incredibly expensive and have limited capability at first, thus only governments will be able to purchase them and will only be able to attack the most important secrets of other nation-states. This power will gradually trickle down to organized criminals, but they will only be able to assault the most lucrative targets, e.g. falsifying financial transactions, blackmailing large companies or selling their sensitive data to the highest bidder. Hopefully, by the time quantum computing is widely available, if ever, the old, susceptible algorithms will have all but vanished. So, what is your opinion on this potential future where basic security algorithms could no longer exist and would need to be replaced by cryptography create by difficult to access quantum computers? Do you fear that huge agencies will have a huge advantage in that future or will it work out fine in the end? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.